The way we're marketing our homes is changing. On the one hand, the advent of online estate agencies has created an alternative to the personal service offered by high street estate agencies. But traditional estate agencies are changing too, recognising the power and the value of films in marketing properties. I'm here in Exeter where local estate agency Bradley's is leading the way by offering scripted film tours of properties as part of their marketing service. Now this is great news for the buyer as it means they can view more properties online without excessive travel. And for the seller, there's less inconvenience as more viewings will take place online rather than in their home. I'm here with Richard Greeton. Richard Bradley's is located in the southwest of England. Do many people move to this part of the world each year? Yeah, um, we're really, really busy, particularly at the moment with uh, a variety of different types of people moving down to the West Country. We see uh, two types mainly. We see retirement people coming uh, to take advantage of the quality of life, uh, the low house prices in general compared to some central parts of London and, and the Midlands and also people looking for a better quality of life to raise children, uh, to maybe perhaps keep the main job in London or in a major city um, and work three days a week or four days a week uh, in that city but, but have a, a day at home or two days at home. And that's been uh, a huge uptake in, in demand for that type of buyer. And what sort of properties would you say people are looking for here? I think the most important thing is location, actually. Um, we find that obviously the, the beaches, the coast uh, is very accessible um, and a lot of people would, would come to this part of the world ideally for a quality sea view or estuary view. Um, but we also have some stunning countryside, so we, you know, we have the best of both worlds here. Um, very often we, you know, we can offer some, some, uh, a quality of life change where people can buy a farm, buy a small holding, um, they can do some holiday letting or experiencing you know, the holiday market. Um, and that has been a, a very interesting side of the business which has developed certainly uh, over the last few years. How long have you been pioneering the use of film to market properties? We've been developing uh, over the last 13 months a really quality film which is uh, presented by a professional presenter, not an estate agent. And her brief is very much to give an accurate idea and describe the house um, honestly and how she sees it. Um, and we also have been working with a, a drone team that, that fly around the property showing where it sits, where it lies, if it's near a road, if it's near countryside, if it's near the estuary or the sea, so that somebody, you know, ideally from out of the area within a, a five minute period can decide, yeah, that's the house for me, or maybe no, it's not. I think one of the frustrations for many buyers uh, and, and sellers uh, is the wrong people viewing their properties and wasting their very valuable time these days. And what we've noticed is that um, where somebody's watched a video compared to a property that doesn't have a video, we've seen the viewing to offer ratio drop from nine viewings for an offer to five. And what would you say is the benefit compared to just pictures? The, the real honesty behind the video, that is the, the, the absolute winning formula. Um, and with a very professional camera crew, uh, working with the drone crew, we're able to show a, a really true and honest uh, view of the house, um, which saves everybody time. It saves us time, it saves buyers time, it saves vendors time. And very often, uh, you know, you, you never capture a property uh, or see a property in glorious sunshine in this country, you might view it in the rain. But obviously we try and make our videos so that they're, they're, they're in good weather. So you can see the views or you can see a property, you know, what it's like in the sun if you do view it in, in the rain. We had a, a, a wonderful property uh, on the Lizard, which is right in the, the, the bottom of uh, Cornwall, overlooking the sea and it was a holiday home um, for, a, for a couple that had it for 30 or 40 years. Um, it was one of the first videos that we did um, and we released the property we had um, probably eight viewings on a Sunday from people travelling down from London who'd watched the viewing. Uh, it didn't sell in the first three months, so we adjusted the price 
And then we got a phone call from one of the people that viewed from London. And we asked, well, you know, we've been following you up. Why didn't you, you know, make an offer or, you know, what, what, why didn't you uh, take it further at the time? And the answer came back, well, in the meantime, I've been sharing the link of the video to my architect, my builder, my plumber, my family, um, and I've been collating as much information and as many prices as I can, and more, and more importantly, my architect, because I want to redevelop the property. Um, and that really, from very early on, taught us that, that actually this sharing a video was as important as the video itself. How does it work exactly? Because I suppose from a buyer's point of view they might be concerned about additional costs. We've worked really closely with costs. We subsidised the film um, to a small degree but as you know, in the early days but as we've grown now we, we are able to offer our supplier lots of film so we've been able to keep the price really competitive. Um, and actual fact, if I think back, um, the cost of a film now is no different to, to a brochure and, and printing costs have dropped dramatically. We're not issuing as many brochures as we used to, as a lot of people use and view a brochure online now. And I think it depends on the length of the film as to obviously the cost of it. Um, but around four to five minutes is, is a reasonable um, time for someone to, to get a good idea of the house. And that's what we try and aim for for each video. Richard, thank you.